Fab Labs have been set up to give community access to the type of machines that would already be available in industry, things like laser cutters, 3D printers, CNC routers, and the idea is to encourage creativity, encourage innovation. It all stemmed from a visit down to the nerve centre and the boys in class sort of thought it would be a good idea to do a jigsaw of the plantation of dairy. We were studying the plantation on the board and we thought we might as well get a hands-on experience. It's a jigsaw and it shows how uh, dairy was divided up in these sections. It struggled a little bit with the concept of the London companies coming in, dividing up the land and then renaming the certain areas. The first part of the project would have been the vectoring of the map that we provided uh, of the plantation of dairy. We used uh, some programs on the computer. We like traced out the actual shape from a piece of paper and then we like used this machine and it just started like uh, cutting out all the pieces. This machine here now is what we're going to use to cut the excellent jigsaw shapes out. See the drawing that you did upstairs? Mm -hmm. That's got most of the instructions that you need. Those drawings we now load that into the computer here. And once it's in the computer, we tell it exactly how much depth it has to be, right? The revised curriculum has talked about a skills-based programme, bringing together all the facets of learning that's taking place in the curriculum, giving the, the, the children an overall understanding of that learning and how one impacts on the other. We learnt uh, the different places of uh, the towns and we also learnt where the grocers, the fishmongers, uh, ironmongers, merchants were uh, from the whole plantation and we learned why most of them were put in the spots they were. The London companies took over the plantation. They actually changed some of the names. The names, some of them aren't the same. Some of them still are. Draperstown, Derry. Sometimes it's up to yourself. Some people call it London Derry. Some people just still call it Derry. The whole idea of doing the project again was to learn a little bit more about what happened in the early 17th century in their part of the world. And this was probably the best way to do it, was to do something a little bit more creative using IT, using manufacturing, something which we know the boys enjoy. This project to us is the embodiment of STEAM in the classroom. STEAM is essentially taking art and design and putting this in the heart of the STEM modules. Based on the exact drawing that it does upstairs. And you can see that each time it goes around, it gets it exactly right each time. It doesn't go out very much at all from the lines. It always just stays exactly on the line. It is ICT and it is available right across the curriculum. You can fashion a project for any subject and actually come and utilize these tools to make it. In terms of mixed ability groups or any ability groups, they can come and achieve very creative and expressive outputs whilst also learning quite extensive IT and ICT. Tremendous thing that how they can just do that error out of the world. We know ourselves that the kinesthetic hands-on approach works far, far better than the actual sort of chalk and talk approach of, of the past. And again, it's about pupil enjoyment as well, but it's also about the learning of the actual curriculum, and this helps in that matter. It gives them the opportunity to experience a work-based environment and the practical aspect, the outworkings of a thought and an implant that they have in their heads to be able to take that from, from the phase of planning and preparation to have that engagement with the teacher in the classroom and the excitement of being able to take this and take it to a different level and to have a finished product at the end of it. Technology is exciting, new technology is exciting but also actually making things, being able to realise something at the end of a very quick project is something we find is a really great engagement tool. I wouldn't find anything at all, like these machines would be here more in America or England or something like that, but not in there. It would definitely make anyone think about picking up IT or engineering or maths. I think a lot of subjects now, they, they, all, they all link up. This is about a geography too, look at the same time. I think it's really good, I think it's amazing. One time now, it's gonna, computers are going to do everything for us.